A discrete source transmits messages X1, X2 and X3 with the probabilities 0.3, 0.4 and 0.3. The source is connected to the channel as shown in the figure. Calculate all the entropies. So first up with this given data, what we can take the outcome from this given data is that we can write the conditional probability matrix. So just by looking at this figure, we have conditional probability matrix, which is P of Y by X. So why we cannot write P of X by Y? So we all know that P of Y by X is written as P of X Y divided by P of X. So even without using this formula, we can directly write the P of Y by X matrix, which is the conditional probability matrix, just by directly looking at these links. I'll tell you how to write that. So now I'm writing the P of Y by X matrix from this figure. So here I'll be writing X1, X2, X3. And on the columns, we have Y1, Y2, and Y3. So what we have to identify is whether there is a link between X1, Y1. If there is a link between X1, Y1, some arrow is there. And on the arrow above of that arrow, we have the value 0 0.8. So that will come here. So from X1 to Y2, it is 0 0.2. And is there any link between X1 and Y3? No. So X1 is here, Y3 is here. So no link is there. So we write that as 0. And similarly, X2, Y1, is there any link? No link, that is why it is zero. Then X2, Y2, so we have a straight connection and that value is given as one. And X2, Y3, no link, and the answer is zero. And for X3, Y1, no link, here zero will come. And here 0 0.3 will come, X3, Y2, and X3, Y3, 0 0.7 will come. So now we have this conditional probability matrix P of Y by X. So from the given data, uh, we have the probabilities which are given corresponding to uh, the X1, X2 and X3. So that is represented as actually P of X, which is equal to probability of X1, probability of X2 and probability of X3, which are 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0. That is what is given in the question. Probabilities associated with the messages X1, X2 and X3 respectively, right? So we have this 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3. So we have the probability matrix P of X and the conditional probability matrix P of Y by X. Now we have to calculate the joint probability matrix P of XY. In order to calculate the entropy, we all should need different kinds of probabilities that are present. So now we are trying to derive the joint probability matrix p of x y right so for the joint event p of x y and these two are the two different events that are independent this joint probability matrix p of x y can be obtained by multiplying the rows of p of y by x by p of x so we have p of y by x as 0 0.8 0 0.2 0 and 0 1 0 0 0 0.3 0 0.7 so this is what we have got and we have got P of X as 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. So if you see the probabilities, if you just take the sum of that, it is it should be one. While doing this process, I'll tell you how to verify. So these are the two matrices we have. And in order to get this joint probability matrix P of X by X, Y. So what we have to do is, so these are the rows. So this particular rows should be multiplied with the, this P of X1, X2 and X3 respectively, which means the first row should be multiplied with X1, second row should be multiplied with the X2 and third row should be multiplied with X3. So let us do that. We get the conditional probability matrix P of XY, which is equal to first row should be multiplied with X1, 0 0.3. But now we have 0 0.8 into 0 0.3, then 0 0.2 into 0 0.3, and zero multiplied with anything is zero. Here also we get zero. And second row, we should multiply with X2. So one multiplied by 0 0.4. And here also zero, zero will come. And here we have zero. Third row should be multiplied with X3. So 0 0.3 multiplied with 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 multiplied with 0 0.3. So if we calculate this, we get the joint probability matrix. P of XY.
So which we get as 0 0.8 into 3 multi 83 is 24, right? Then 326 0.06. Here we get 0, 0, 1 into 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0. Just by looking at it, we don't even need calculator. So it is 0 0.09. 73 is 21. So it is 0 0.21. X1, X2. It's just for convenience sake, I am writing this. And here we have Y1, Y2, Y3. And this is the joint probability matrix that we got. So if you want to check whether the answer or the matrix that you have got is correct or not, the sum of all the entries within this matrix should be equal to one. So if we get it as one, then we can assume that the matrix that we have got is correct. And then the probabilities P of Y1, Y2, Y3 now can be obtained. So I'll tell you how to calculate those probabilities p of y1 y2 and y3 so this can be obtained by adding the columns of p of xy so we have got this p of xy right so now we have this columns this columns if we add up then we can get p of y1 p of y2 and p of y3 the corresponding probabilities so just add up those elements which are present in y1 column P of y1 will be 0 0.24 because other elements are 0. So for P of y2, what is the sum of this? 0 0.06 plus 0 0.0, uh, sorry, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.09. We get as 0 0.55. If you have a calculator, just calculate and cross check. And similarly for P of y3, we get 0 0.21. So all these things has to be summed. And that is what we get as y1, y2, and y3, the corresponding probabilities. So now we have derived from the joint probability matrix this individual probabilities of the output events, the y events as well. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to calculate the conditional probability matrix P of x by y. So from the given data, we have written p of y by x right so now i want to calculate p of x by y so how to calculate that p of x by y will be equal to p of x comma y divided by p of y whichever is there so it is actually the joint probability divided by which is there in the denominator so p of x y divided by p of y so from this, we can conclude that the conditional probability P of XY can be obtained by dividing the columns of P of XY by P of Y1, Y2, Y3 respectively. So that's what we are going to do in order to achieve this P of X, or X by Y, the conditional probability matrix. So from the given data, we have written the conditional probability matrix P of Y by X. Now I want to write the probability matrix P of X by Y. So that's what we're going to do now. P of x by y equal to, we have to divide the columns of P of x, y. These are the columns we have. Just by dividing these columns by P of y1, y2, y3 respectively. So this first column has to be divided with P of y1. Second column has to be divided with P of y2. Third column has to be divided with P of y3. So I'll be doing that. I'm not rewriting those. I'll just write P of x by y matrix straight away. So we have 1 and 0 0.109 and 0. And here we have 0. First column anyway we have 0, right? First column we have 0 0.24 is the only element. And that is divided with 0 0.24. So we get 1, 0, 0 in the column 1. And for this element x1, y2, we have to divide this 0 0.06 with 0 0.55. So we get 0 0.109. Then 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.55 we get 0 0.727 just approximate it to three digits and 0 0.09 divided by 0 0.55 second column has to be divided with p of y2 right if we do that 0 0.09 divided by 0 0.55 we get 0 0.164 so now in the third column we have 0 0 and 0 0.21 third column has to be divided with P of y3. So we get 0, 0, and 0 0.21 divided by 0 0.21, which is 1. So I'll be writing that. So in third column, we have 0, 0, and 
1. And this is the conditional probability matrix C of x by y. Now again, to cross check this particular matrix P of x by y, all the columns should be 1. So if you see all the columns, the sum of that should be equal to 1. And now comes the uh, actual part of calculating the entropies. We are now going to calculate individual entropy H of X. So average information per individual message, right? H of X will be calculating that as minus summation over A equal to 1, 2, 3. Only we have three messages. So that's why I'm writing X1, X2, X3 are the messages we have. So that's why I'm writing only up to 3. P of XJ log P of XJ is the formula for calculating entropy. So just expanding that, we'll get the negative symbol here. One is 0 0.3, X2 is 0 0.4, and X3 is 0 0.3. Just I'll be substituting those values. P of X1, 0 0.3 log 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4 log 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 log 0 0.3. The answer we get is 1.571 bits per message so that's about h of x entropy related to the input now we are going to calculate h of y summation over k equal to 1 2 3 outputs also we have 3 y1 y2 y3 so now we'll write p of yk log p of yk and yk values we have p of y1 is 0 0.24 y2 is 0 0.55 y3 is 0 0.21 we'll just substitute that minus of 0 0.24 log 0 0.24 plus 0 0.55 log 0 0.55 plus 0 0.21 log 0 0.21. And similar way, if we calculate this by taking log base 2, we get 1.441 bits per message. Right, next we'll be measuring the joint entropy, which is H of XY we have, if you remember the joint entropy we have written this summation over j equal to 1, 2, 3, summation over k equal to 1, 2, 3. We get the joint probability here, P of x, j, y, k into log the probability of the joint event, x, j, y, k. So now we have P of x, j, y, k or P of x, y. So this is the matrix we have, 0 0.24, 0 0.06, 0 0.4. I'm just telling those elements which are present. 0 0.09 and 0 0.21. So re excluding zeros, we have uh, how many elements? One, two, three, four, five elements we have. So now we'll be writing those five. P of X, X, Y. So this is the probability matrix we have. So we'll be taking all those values which are present, excluding zeros. So I'm directly writing that. So if you expand the summation, like you will get uh, for J equal to one, K equal to one. Then for J equal to one, K equal to two. Then for j equal to 1, k equal to 3. And similarly for j equal to 2 and k ranging from 1 to 3. And for j value 3, k ranging from 1 to 3. So likewise, you will get multiple number of terms. And because those, so and we have the summation here. So we'll, we have to add up all those terms. So simply I'm writing it. First term we have 0 0.24 log 0 0.24. And the second one we have 0 0.06. 0 0 0.06 log 0 0.06 plus 0 0.4 log 0 0.4 plus 0 0.09 log 0 0.09 plus the last element, the fifth element, we have 0 0.21 log 0 0.2. So if you calculate this, you get 2.053 bits per message. So similar way, we can calculate the conditional entropy. So now we have calculated the individual entropies and the joint entropy. Individual entropies are H of X, H of Y and H of XY is the joint entropy. Now we have to calculate the conditional entropy H of X by Y and H of Y by X. So now I'm doing H of X by Y, the conditional entropy. So summation over K equal to 1, 2, 3, summation over K equal to 1, 2, 3, P of x j y k only difference is that we get log p of x j divided by y k and for this case for h of y by x the formula you have to use is same but probability the conditional probability will change p of y k divided by x j will get so that's the only difference remaining all will be same just try doing it 
I'll do P of x by y. So minus of 0.24 log 1 plus 0.06 log 0.109 plus 0.4. Like what you have to do is we have P of x, j, y, k, right? There is that x by y, P of x by y, right? This matrix. So we have to uh, multiply this entire matrix with uh, P of x, y. So the first one, 0 0.24 multiplied with 1 log 1 the conditional probability then 0 0.06 multiplied with log 0 0.109 then x2 y2 we have 0 0.4 log 0 0.727 then we have here 0 0.09 log 0 0.164 and the last element x3 y3 is 0 0.21 which is multiplied with log 1 you understood that so whatever the elements that are present here in this matrix p of x y we are multiplying that with the corresponding logarithm value of this probabilities. 0 0.4 log 0 0.727, 0 0.09 log 0 0.1646 and we get pH of x by y as 0 0.612 bits per message. To calculate h of y by x and the formula I am writing summation over j equal to 1 to 3, summation over k equal to 1 to 3 p of x j y k same probability matrix we'll be using log p of y k divided by x j and so now what you have to do p of x j y k this particular matrix all these elements has to be multiplied with p of y by x this particular one so 0 0.24 log 0 0.8 0 0.06 log 0 0.2 0 0.4 log 1 0 0.09 log 0 0.3 and 0 0.21 log 0 0.7 the conditional entropy h of y by x you should get h of y by x as 0 0.482 bits per message